So here we are. Oh, this is tense. Hello one and all, Mickey a Surviving RNG and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Impossible Iron Man, Citizen Challenge versus Vanguard. He told me last night he's very close to making a mini bike and has me worried. We're gonna have to enact a plan, blow up Vanguard's base today. Now bear in mind, I'm not gonna blow up his actual stuff, his loot boxes, because that would actually destroy his loot and that is partially against the rules in terms of stealing each other's loot. So that leaves me with the options of catching him when he's entering or leaving the base. But the problem is he'd, he'd see an explosive barrel entering the base unless I did it from the inside at which point he might see that the the door has been damaged or is unlocked and doing it on the outside waiting for him to leave is also a problem because he will hear me he will hear me play stuff down on top of his base because I can only do it obviously when he's on the inside of the base and also get rid of that put that there and scrap the rest now we have a level 185 club or hammer which is not bad at all and let's go oh actually speaking of which let me just check something this this thing here it does everything that's fine 200. It has 200 health. Uh, explosive barrels. How much damage do they do? Does it say? I don't know. I, I don't know. And uh, I suspect it does 200. So to blow up one of these, you need 200 for the wood and uh, another 100 minimum. Say 200 again for the frame, which is fine, which means, you know, we're going to use um, four. So that's fine. Oh, there it is. I'm looking for that. Let's go down and decide what to do. Oh, I thought you were a runner. Oh, cop. Sounds like two cops, actually. No, we're good. Let's go between the buildings, actually. God, even though uh, we've recorded since last episode, uh, my eyes, my senses still aren't attuned to the game. I'm, I'm still a little bit slower to recognize the sound of dogs, the sound of a runner, just the general sound of the enemies around me. And to spot them as well, what their, their shape looks like, their movements, stuff like that. So not this building. Our temporary base was going to be this building. So that's his base. Let's just be quiet. And let's make our way up. He hears me because I hear him. Yeah, he's still in his base. Oh, there he goes. Where did he go? I heard him open, a, open that. And this base isn't that safe because the the top floor in this building is too, clo too close to the roof. Oh, there you go. It's coming out again. I can hear a door opening. Does he have a second door down there to be safe? I actually wonder. Um, I'm guessing the ambience of the game doesn't match between players. It's like the wind blowing right now, which obstructs my, my hearing. I'm guessing that doesn't match his. Is he coming out of his base? Or did he already leave? I don't hear him down there at all. I don't hear him down there at all. So, let's do that. Then, uh, can I just give me one of them. Then go here. There. Then just carefully drop down. Yeah, I don't hear him here. He's here. He is here. He's working the forge. Yeah, there he is. He's eating. I was about to eat, actually. But I didn't want to give my way my position. Yeah, he's down here. I can hear you, Mickey. Stop trying to trap me. Hey, you go nuts, buddy. You go nuts. Oh, this is tense. Here we are. You have to come out here sometime, buddy. Although, then again, him building the mini bike in there is also a win. Oh, this is tense. I didn't see that he's made another way out of the base. That's not to say that he hasn't. I think he heard that, and my gun wasn't even loaded. Damn it. He sees the barrels, he must do. Yeah, he does. Ha 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 Damn it. I gave it away. I gave it away. Well, now that resorts me to um, 
sabotaging his base at night. Why wasn't my gun loaded? That is really weird. I don't know why my gun wasn't loaded. But he definitely heard the click. He must have. There's no reason why... Nice explosion, dude. <laughs> A nice try. That's right, man. I am not going anywhere. And I got more from more of where they came from. Well, crap. Let's do this the old-fashioned way, then. Unless he's got explosive barrels as well. Yeah, he's reinforcing. Stop trying to destroy my stuff, Nikki. Hello. I wouldn't do anything. Hey, go, go get the airdrop. Airdrop. Stop destroying my stuff, Mickey. <laughs> you made cement? God damn. You made cement? No, it's a bunker, Mickey. <laughs> Good luck trying to destroy it. It's not going to work. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's fair enough. Interesting. Maybe I should... Well, I'm just going to keep doing this and let him think that I'm doing this. This. Not okay, buddy. Not okay. <laughs> I would have never have done that to you. Yeah, keep lying, Mickey. Keep lying. Or of those, if you want, just stick around. <laughs> Messing with my base. I <laughs> can do this the whole day. Oh, I think you have a runner following you, Mickey. That's bad. That's okay. I'm used to them. <laughs> yeah. Good luck Damn it, he built into a bunker. Crap. That I did not take count of. I'm nearly out of healing as well. Damn it. Well, I've got aloe vera. Guess I can make more. Make all of them. Damn it, runner. Don't have time for you. Ooh, can actually get up here. Who knew? Okay, I need to have the last one as well. That was damn close. That if I, if I hadn't moved away when I did, I would probably be dead. Yeah, run away, wow, damn. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we just get up here then. Oh, that was close. Oh, they got me. And I'm infected. Well, damn. And stun locked me. Whew. Okay. Well, luckily we have these, but I don't have many of them. And then turn the aloe vera creams into bandages. But wow. Hmm. Do that. And up here then. How about we eat instead of using any more? In fact, put the coffee here because we're not be using that right now. We're not gonna be hitting zombies, that's for sure. Eat the rest, top up our health. There you go, break in there. That building might be safe as well, that roof is really high up. That might be a better place to stay at night. Do I need to secure I think I did actually, in fact. Yeah, I did, it is safe. So that building's safe, safe than this building, I think. Yeah, they're slowly getting in. Let's eat up, and that'll be enough health. Scrap that, put that there. What are you breaking into, buddy? Are you hitting there, that concrete? Let's hope so, because I am out of luck now. There you go, now you're working your way through. No, no, you're hitting the wood again, buddy. No, you're hitting the wood. Damn. If he's making a mini bike, then he's definitely got a workbench. And if he's got a workbench, he can definitely make uh, landmines. And I think that thing is going for me, not the base, which is very annoying. I would really prefer to build over that base, to build over it and reinforce it so he can't come back here at night. If I can't destroy his loot, I can at least stop him getting to it. Let's try to kill you then. There are so many runners down there, though. Got to be careful, though. He might know that I'm up here. And try to build a ladder up here to tempt the zombies up here. In which case, that zombie is doing my job for me. Stopping him from getting inside the base. Go on then, block that car. Bring more zombies. There you go. Oh no, she ran off a bit, damn. Well, at least me being here is going to stop him getting in that base. Maybe I can actually hit that car and do damage. I think it does so little damage though. Yeah, it does. Explodes are the way to go for that thing. I'd be willing to spam craft, but if I did that, I'd be making myself a lot more vulnerable. Okay, undetected. What are you guys going to do? 
Yeah, keep getting into that base, maybe. No, they wandered off. And I want to lock him out of that base. And I've got to get through the zombies to do it, which means I need to go down. How am I going to gain access to his base? Or at least stop him from getting into it? Hunted? Oh yeah, yeah, there are runners there. Maybe those runners will be enough to stop him getting in? I don't know, if, I don't know. I don't know for certain, I don't think it will be. He could just run in. And I suspect this is where I'm going to stay tonight. Hunted. Who sees me? You're not a runner. You won't stop him from getting in. So I'm guessing he went to a secondary base. I wonder if he took a bunch of stuff with him. You're not a runner. Can I get down there now? Let's see. You don't have a lot of time. Yeah, you're a runner, damn it. And it is getting really foggy. Yeah, I know you see me. I know you see me. I hope you're a runner. There he is. No? W where is he then? More runners from this direction? Woo! Oh, that is very scary. That is very, very scary. Well, he definitely won't be getting in there tonight, that's for sure. And more runners. Yeah, and a crawler. Yeah, the, the horde spawned on me. In fact, it might even spawn on his base. If he's got a forge down there and um, a workstation, could have spawned on his base. And it is getting late. Go and block that car. Block that car. Go on. Do it. Oh, yeah, he's a runner. Yeah, at this point, he must have stayed in a secondary base of his. And more runners. Wow. Those poor crawlers coming. Man, it's actually really, really scary because they can hit the, knock the blocks out from underneath me here. And dying at night. Well, I suppose dying at night, there's no reason I, can just, I can't just stay there overnight. And more runners. So yeah, my options are to bust that open or to build over it and just stop him as much as possible trying to get in. And at this point, I can almost guarantee he's not coming here. You know, let's start, let's start to hide. Undetected, good. Let's get between these two. So if it's undetected, it sh the, the zombies shouldn't be smashing blocks to get to me with any luck. Although it's night time, so I'm hunted again. Damn it! <laughs> Have to be careful. That means, um, honestly, I've got to keep moving. Well, this is going to be a very scary night. Yeah, night time, their senses go way up. And I've got to keep moving so they, if they are hitting the blocks underneath me... Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're moving. If they are hitting the blocks underneath me. Um, they don't knock them out from underneath me. It's sharing the damage. How was your day, Uh Not bad, man, not bad. Kind of wet and rainy. Actually, speaking of which, is the weather the same for you? It's like um, fog and rain. Yeah, it's the same. It's server side, the rainy. Okay, cool. And Mickey, this I just put it out there that I cannot do the duct tape because it requires a beaker. <laughs> wow, of all things. Falcon is a beaker, that's, I don't know, maybe one L of the three hardest things to get. Like, yeah. like, a, like a cult campaign, right? <laughs> yeah, like a cult campaign. Yeah, so basically we're stuck together for a while. But... Don't know if I can believe him. And it's so dark, I can't even tell if they're hitting out the blocks. I mean, I've got the hammer, so if they were damaging the blocks, I'd see and them. And the bad part about it is that I spent the whole day killing zombies to get the bones for nothing. It was a waste of day. To get the what for nothing? Oh, the bones! Right, yeah, it didn't say that in the inventory thing. It just said, um, fire pit. Yep, if you look at the fire pit, it's going to require a beat. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. I just figured out something that I can do on I forgot about this. <laughs> about what? Landmines? Yeah, so I have uh, a word to them. I couldn't get them. But they, they use duct tape, so... Don't worry about it. <laughs> everything uses duct tape. Because duct tape solves everything. Yeah, if, duct, if you, you don't solve it with duct tape, you just need a hammer. That, that is very true. So yeah, guys, I think I'm just stuck here doing this for the rest of the night. Thank God there's no wasp here. Because that would really piss me off. Really, really piss me off. But yeah, guys, um, tomorrow I'm going to try build over his base and slow him down as much as possible. And just reinforce the ever-loving crap out of all the blocks I placed there. I mean, I have the wood and I've got the iron and I'm not using the iron for anything else. So yeah, screw it, why not? So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, as scary as it was, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let everybody else know if you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys back here next time for more 7 Days to Die Impossible Iron Man Cities Like a Challenge versus Vanguard. Thanks for watching, guys, and... Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. God, this is terrifying. This is so scary. <laughs> oh my god. I think tonight is going to be another fighting or what in the time. That sucks, man. That sucks. Tell you, man, you need to you need to do the, the, the thing where you build a little cage of wooden blocks and sit in there. 
much calmer. Why? Don't do that. What's that? So you can see where I am. <laughs> well, no, just clear them up. Clear them up after you're you're finished. 